We're going to have Mnuchin on a little bit later, the Treasury Secretary, um, Governor. And, and just to, to drill down on, on what's happening, you know, the, the, the gap has narrowed, and there is a narrative from, um, from the White House and others that, that the Speaker doesn't want to give the President a win before the election day. And, but then the, I saw the Speaker get really uh, animated with Wolf Blitzer, who's like a pretty friendly guy, I think, uh, normally to the cause. And um, it was just weird. I, I, it seems like both sides are getting really defensive. I just wish we could all get along. I mean, we're only 300. How far apart are we now? We're, we're, we're not that yeah, far listen, apart. I, Does it have to be perfect? Don't you, think, don't you think Speaker Pelosi should maybe not, or both, uh, you know, I don't want to just focus on her, but the other side, both should be able to to compromise on 300 bill, whatever it is, whatever the difference is now? Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be better than it is. And I'll let the Treasury Secretary, I've known for 35 years, uh, speak for himself. But listen, I, I, the Speaker put uh, the, the exact right bill on the table months ago. So I, I don't in any way, shape or form uh, accept that she's the one at fault here or that she's trying to prevent something from happening before the election day. Uh, this is politics from the other side, with all due respect, Joe, on this one. Well, um, uh, now you, that just I, sounds I believe, like the other. That just sounds like the other side, Governor. And that. Well, I got to call. That, listen, that, I'm that calling. Doesn't help us Joe, move I'm calling forward. balls and strikes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, there's I'm nothing making in my, there. My observations there's, based on the facts. There's she nothing in there. She put this out in early summer. There's nothing in there that 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 you that you might have a problem with if you were a Republican because it's not. Uh, involved with the, the matter at hand, and it is a big number. So anything, you know, we, at this point, there shouldn't be things in there that aren't just front and center for trying to deal with the crisis. And, and you don't think there are, you're, you're saying there aren't anything. Listen, I'm not read into every little detail. I do know that New Jersey needs state aid. We're not the only state. Every state does. We need extension of unemployment benefits. Small businesses, especially in restaurants and hospitality, need a helping hand. There's a whole range of needs. I was saying this in August, and the president um, has now been saying it over the past few days. I, in August, I said, listen, in something like this, you go big or go home. History will not be unkind to you if you overshoot. It will be if you undershoot. And I couldn't believe it, but the Republican Senate went home instead of going big. Now is the time to go big. It was the time earlier this summer. It's not too late, but folks are desperate. Uh, and right. something has to get done, Joe. We got to stop playing politics with this and get that done. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.